Well, hey, this is Michael Carbonaro. Welcome. Thank you for watching the latest episode of The Carbonaro Effect. Hope you liked it. Welcome to The After Effect. I'm going to answer some questions. Thanks for writing those in at hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro. You can do that on Twitter or Facebook or scroll it across the front of your house. I'll drive by and answer the question. Here we go. Bryson, that guy seemed freaked out by those things in the water. Uh, what animal are you most afraid of? That is creepy, though. Ooh, this is tickling. <gasps> I used to be afraid of spiders, and I'm not anymore. I really was as a kid. It's totally like mutating. <laughs> I don't think I'm afraid of any animals. That's not true, right? If it was like a jaguar behind me, I'd probably pee. So probably any animal. That's any animal that's suddenly behind me. I'll be scared of. Okay. Brent writes in saying, what was the most outlandish thing someone has thought the Carbonaro effect was? I'm thinking immediately to the time capsule guy, which is one of my favorite things of this whole order that we did here. What do we do? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. This has got to be like when something lines up like that, like like some, parallel universe as well. There's a technical term for like a par parallel universe. Oh, yeah, well, a wormhole. But it's like an effect when someone goes through an like effect. A trifecta. Effect. Effect. Carbo. Car carbon. Some carbon effect. Carbon arrow. Effect. Dude, this is nuts, bro. The way he and I bounce back and forth about like what Carbon Arrow Effect was, it sounded like a comedy routine. Dude! What? I love when people think they know what it is, um, and they try and like, you know. He's here. Oh my gosh. This is Poltergeist. What? This is Poltergeist. Poltergeist? Something just happened. Do you know what just, oh. Renzo says, speaking of Poltergeist, has there ever been a movie that inspired one of your tricks? Uh, yes, the statue. When my buddy Chad turned into the statue and crumbled, but it's from Terminator 2. Remember when he gets hit with the, um, the really cold stuff and he freezes and he's trying to walk and he breaks out of his own legs and crumbles on? That was like, you know, I was, that was terrifying. Oh my God! Okay. I'm constantly inspired by that kind of stuff and uh, thank you for noticing that. You must have asked because you noticed. So thanks and um, thank you so much again for writing the questions. There's a lot of thanks at the end of this because we had a great run. I was really proud of these shows and you guys uh, tuning in and checking them out has been really special. Questions at hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro and I will see you next time. <laughs>